Today, we're gonna unbox and set up the TP-Link Deco BE63, one of TP-Link's Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems. Let's get to it. What's up guys and welcome to Top Shelf Media. So I did a video a few years back about upgrading my Wi-Fi where I switched to a Google Nest router. And up until recently, I've had no problems with it. It's ran my smart home with zero issues. But about nine-ish months ago, friends of mine convinced me to start playing Fortnite with them, and I quickly realized my internet wasn't quite keeping up. And with the move to our new house, it seemed to get worse. Now this could be an issue with my ISP, but I do have one gig internet from them, so I figured trying out a new router could be a good first step. Enter in the TP-Link Deco BE63. This is a Wi-Fi mesh system that promises up to 10 gigabits per second, four 2.5 gigabit ports, and full tri-band support. Oh, and because this is a two-pack, I have the option for wired or wireless backhaul. All right, taking this out of the box, there really isn't much to it. In this little compartment down here on the bottom, we have the two power cords and our ethernet cable. After that, it's just getting the two routers out of the box. And I'm not gonna lie, it took me longer than it should have to notice the pull tabs on either side of the box to be able to lift this out. But eventually, I got them both out, and now we're ready for setup. Okay, now it's time for setup. Assuming you already know where your router is gonna be located, you need to figure out which one of these routers is gonna be your main router connected to your modem. It really doesn't matter which one, you just gotta pick one. After that, plug it into power and wait for the light to start pulsing blue. Now, if you're saying, I don't see a light, what are you talking about? It's actually on the underside, and if this was sitting on something other than the shelf I have it sitting on now, you'd actually be able to see it reflecting off the surface. But eventually it turned blue for me, so I was able to move on. Now while I was looking for the deco, it did pop up and say that it couldn't find it. I just hit try again, and that seemed to work. Shortly after that, it said that it was connected, and I was able to move on with plugging it into my modem. After that, I restarted my modem, and then I was able to pick which room I was going to have this router in. Next, I selected my internet connection type, and I was able to proceed. And I thought I was in the clear at this point, but I did have one more trip up trying to connect to the network it just created, but I hit try again, again, and it worked. Okay, now that we have it all set up, I wanna run you through a couple of speed tests that I did comparing my old router to this one. From what I understand, there are a few variables that could factor into these results, so take these as you will. I will say that the Wi-Fi tests were done using the same computer and the same location of my home, meaning it was the same distance from the router. The wired tests were done using the same computer as well and the same ethernet cable. Now looking at this first test, it is done via my old router and it's on the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, I'm getting nowhere near the one gig that I pay for. Now looking at the results from the TP-Link Deco router, obviously I'm still not getting that one gig download speed, but it's a lot better than it was. Next up, we have the wired speed test that I did with my old router. And as you can see, this is a lot better than the Wi-Fi speed test done with this router. Coming in at about 662, it's still only about two thirds of what I'm paying for for my ISP, but it does get me a better signal than the Deco gets me on Wi-Fi. Finally, we have the test for the wired connection to the TP-Link Deco router. And this is plugged into one of those 2.5 gigabit ports on the back of the router, but our results here are coming in at about 792. Compared that to the 662, we are getting better download speeds, but only by about 130 megabits per second. And I'm sure some of you are gonna ask, yes, the Deco app can run a speed test for you. So I did that using my phone. And here's the results for that. As you can see, we're looking at 933 for our download and 30.1 for our upload speed. I will say the difference between the two wired tests isn't huge. 
But what you don't see in this video is the amount of times that I've randomly run a speed test throughout the day on my old router and got less than 50 megabits per second. And since installing this new system about a month ago, I have not even gotten close to that low. At the time of recording this video, you can pick this two pack up on Amazon for $2.99. So if you have a smaller house or a more modest internet plan, say less than 500 megabits per second, this might not be for you. But if you have gigabit internet, lots of smart home devices, maybe a few weak Wi-Fi zones, or you just want to future-proof your home Wi-Fi system, then this would make a great purchase. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll put links down in the description if you want to go check this out. As always, stay curious, stay informed, and I will see you in the next video.